welcome to a new episode where I will try to teach you how to go downstairs. Now, please bear with me as I've actually forgotten my, uh, my equipment so I won't be able to edit this as much as I can. But what I'll be able to do is actually to try and make a one take clip on how you can go downstairs. So, if you'd like to join me, let's start. Well, that was more of a jump. That was more of a jump uh, other than a, an actual stair bash. Yeah, and that happened because I had way too much speed for that particular uh, set of stairs, which were free. But let's see now. Now that's more like it. Bah. So those were six stairs. Now I wouldn't really advise starting with six stairs, simply because uh, they look a little bit menacing, yeah, compared to something like, well. These look utterly atrocious, yeah, because as you can see, the, the marble <laughs> was just taken off. And believe it or not, this is actually where I started my skating childhood, if you want. So we used to, we used to try and make some grinds here. I wasn't a particular good grinder, yeah, but I was uh, an insane fan of climbing downstairs. Yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to teach you today just how I started to do that. Now, when you climb stairs, for example, I would advise putting your leg at a diagonal, yeah? If you can see, like that. So, this will mean that uh, if you are going to go back, it's going to be near impossible for you to slip. Whereas, if you have the foot like this, yeah? Of course, you'll be able to go down, yeah? In that position. So, it is best to keep it in a diagonal, sorry, a diagonal. <laughs> Uh, and this will make sure that you're climbing it as smoothly and safely as possible. Now, what do we have here? We have a set of two stairs. Now, in order for you to get comfortable with this, I will suggest uh, keeping a certain position. So not going down the stairs like this. Yeah, so keeping, uh, keeping straight. Yeah, I would advise to use the, the leg that you're keeping behind to extend it as far as possible as you can and to also thrust to also bring your chest uh, in the same angle as the the hind leg the back leg is posting so something like like this basically okay let me just use this so something like like this yeah you you can also keep your arms in front so that you have some extra weight pushing behind yeah because what you're trying to avoid here is basically uh, not to have the space in between the wheels catching yeah because that will actually throw you on your back and you don't want that yeah which brings me to my next point wear a helmet yeah very important you will need it also get some palm guards or gloves or, or anything like that and some knee pads yeah I don't have my knee pads on me today but hopefully you will be able to have them. So we have this two steps right here. Yeah, they're a bit taller, but we should be able to work with them. Yeah, so let's actually start out. Yeah, so when we approach, we can see uh, the obstacle being there. We need some speed turning around. As I said, those were a bit taller, but the fact that these were a bit taller uh, doesn't really mean that you have a big obstacle at hand yeah now what you can do uh, is try to use that angle yeah so basically staying with with your hands and your legs of course going backwards yeah uh, like this yeah so not like this because then you will you will actually fall to the back yeah now once you've mastered something like two stairs you can try to find uh, maybe four stairs. And we actually have here one, two, three, four, yeah? Now we can see that 
there's an advantage here because we have some extra space and uh, on top of that we actually see that the the stair itself is a bit curved downwards now this will this will help you even further because it means that the wheel will will have a far smaller chance of catching uh, that that ledge yeah compared to a very straight uh, ledge that will uh, and maybe even with a very sharp angle at the marble's end that will most likely catch you if you're not in the right angle so let's try this one as well yeah so let's see so we're looking we're looking at the stairs try to envision also uh, yourself doing this yeah so let yourself um, be free and try to um, channel your fear outwards yeah uh, a bit of emptiness inside yeah with some confidence is going to help you in this because if you're going to let yourself be surrounded by fear you will most likely hesitate right before you try this yeah so let's give it a try we see the obstacle we approach it we turn back okay whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> that brings me to another lesson be aware of your surroundings now i just avoided that by quickly switching the weight between my uh, between my uh, sorry between my skates between my legs uh, so flamingoing basically on which i have a video about you can check out my channel on that uh, but try to find a fine line yeah now this is what i have uh, this is what i'm working with right now so one more time remember that if you don't have enough speed you might actually risk uh, catching the ledges yeah so so a good angle combined with some speed let's try again Yeah, a bit better, quite a bit better. Okay, that's good, yeah. Now again, don't forget, when you climb, diagonal, 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 and like that, yeah? Because just putting your foot like this, you can slip, yeah? Now, let's see what else we can do. By the way, uh, this is actually my hometown of Brila, yeah, beautiful place. So, as you can see, very happy place, very nice, and look what I found here, yeah, a set of stairs. Now, this is actually a very good example, yeah, because we got a beginner combo, if you want. We got a set of three, which is quite decent, and then we have sets of two uh, to the end, yeah. So, if we're going to attempt this, we need not that much speed, yeah, because otherwise we'll actually be, be jumping across, yeah. So, let's see. Yes. So leg straight, the back, and that's how you do it. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't advise going directly to a uh, to a combo. Yeah. Simply because uh, you might not yet have the the ability to to go down everything. Yeah. But when you will have this ability, uh, you will be able to very easily go down something like six stairs, like this. I'm actually a bit nervous because I haven't yet bought a housing for the camera. So if I were to fall, yeah, sure. I would be pretty fine. Not sure about the camera though. <laughs> okay guys, and actually one last tip, going downstairs. Yeah, if you find that 
you need to go downstairs but you cannot bash them yeah you cannot go down like that you can always go parallel yeah so like this and go down bring the other foot go down bring the other foot down other foot alternatively of course you can use an inverted diagonal yeah so basically putting your foot in a diagonal and going down but that's that's a bit more complex yeah and one last thing that I I wanted to show you these stairs so these are actually what I was telling you about a very sharp profile yeah let me just see if I can uh, find an angle you see how the profile is very very uh, sharp and uh, there is also quite a bit more height so for something like this if you're going to attempt um, it would be best if you have some some freestyle wheels yeah so basically uh, something that has your wheels very very close yeah so if you have a space in between your wheels because depending on the speed uh, most likely uh, you will be touching with the first woo <laughs> you'll be touching with the first two wheels and this means that the closer your wheels are together uh, something like a 4x80 freestyle setup or free skate setup uh, the better chance you'll have of not touching anything yeah so I really hope that this was maybe useful to you uh, I also wouldn't recommend <laughs> climbing down on something like this yeah but at the same time uh, it's all about challenging yourself and having fun so as long as you have your goal within your mind of what you want to do and you are able to master it you can go ahead and pretty much do whatever it is that you'd like to do as long as you have protective gear yeah so take care guys i hope you'll be safe and as i always say skate safe let's see if we can do a grind oh my first mic you <laughs> okay guys so i really hope you enjoyed this Take care, skate safe, and be safe. Bow.